So guys, till now we saw how to install Bazoo, setting up Bazoo, setting up Bazoo, logs to Bazoo, and we also saw installation of Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, and sending logs to Elasticsearch using Logstash. Uh, using all this knowledge, uh, let's figure out how we can send El Vazu alerts log to Elasticsearch. Uh, this was asked in a comment for me, so I'm making this video. So first, let's uh, so I'll uh, check the status of Elasticsearch now. System CTL status Elasticsearch. We can see Elasticsearch is running. So I have authentication set up on this Elasticsearch. So now I'll check the. So I have passwords listed here. I have generated the passwords using XPAC. Uh, you can check the video in my channel. It's posted. So uh, let me run curl command curl minus x mm, http 192.168.1.0. Twenty-one and port is ninety-two hundred minus u. Uh, username is elastic and the password. So, sorry, curl minus get. So yeah, so we can see we got the output for elastic search. So now let's check the status of Vazu Manager, Vazu Indexer, and Vazu Dashboard. So it is system CTL state. Sorry, let me first change to sudo. System CTL status Vazu Manager. Vazu Manager is running. So let me check also for Vazu Indexer. This is also running, and let me check for Vazu Dashboard. the dashboard is also running so now let's go and try to open Vazu machine one it's 192.168.64 sorry 168.64.22 so I log into the machine everything is working fine so now what we'll do is we'll send these Vazu alerts to Elasticsearch so let me just open Elasticsearch machine here Kibana I'll open Kibana here to this machine uh, let's now send to there are no indexes right now so if I go to Vazu I have these Vazu alerts here set up. Uh, these are Vazu alerts which are coming in right now. Uh, let's send these logs to Elasticsearch. Uh, let's see how we have to do. First, let's go to Elasticsearch official website and download Logstash from there. So, since I'm installing in Windows uh, Ubuntu, I'll take Debian. I copy this link best. Uh, and we are doing this in Vazu machine right now. So, it's wget. Let me clear this out. We can see the log stash file here. So let's unpackage this dpkg using dpkg minus i log stash. Let me enter. So let's leave this for unpacking and let's see what the process is. So once we in uh, download and install log stash, we have to install JRE and JDK and then also we have to install open search plugin logstash input open search plugin which we saw in the open search video uh, we saw we sent zeek logs to open search for that we installed this particular plugin and let's see once this is done now let me install default jre and jdk Sorry, my bad. Mm. 
so default jre and jdk are installed now let's go ahead and let's install the logs test plugin installed now let's go ahead and run this command so first what we'll do is we have to generate a file called search where we'll be doing this is we'll first go to logstash directory slash etc slash logstash here let's gen uh, create a file called search and we will copy if we are running ssl for Wazoo and Elasticsearch we have to copy their root ca.pem file to this file so that the logs test can access uh, the file for authenticating and sending logs so I'm not using HTTPS SSL I mean SSL for Elasticsearch I'm only using SSL for Wazoo so I'll only be doing for Wazoo so I'll get into this search directory and I'll send the uh, wazoo certificate to this file so we can see the file is here and now we have to give necessary permission permissions for this once this is done let's go back and now we have to create new index so let's create a file called templates in the same directory uh, in this directory uh, let's go to templates uh, we let's download the wazoo elasticsearch template which is already there in wazoo.com so here is the file there are no changes need to be made for this file if you want to make any custom changes you can do it but i'll be leaving it the same right now and let's run this command and now let's create a file called sysconfig in this sysconfig uh, i will create a file called logstash once this is done let's go ahead and run this command so i'll copy till here and what i'll be doing here is i will keep the password the same as the one for logstash system i don't want to keep a lot of passwords right now so i'm using the same password it comes in handy for me uh, you can keep a different password doesn't matter this is done and let's export this password once this is done what we'll be doing is let's close the history and let's give the particular permissions for this file and we're good to go once this is done let's start logstash now system ctl start log stash so let's check the status once is it running properly it's active and running that's that's a good sign now let me clear this and let's go to log stash directory and now let's create a new log stash key store Logstash key store is created. Um, we can see it here. So now let's go ahead and store Elasticsearch username and password to this. So let me give in my username. This is done, and let me set the password as well.
I'll copy the password as well. The password. Now, since this is done, let's go ahead and create a the same for Wazoo, index, Wazoo Indexer Now this is done, let's do the same for Password And we are halfway through now now let's go to config directory uh, let's create a file called Vazoo elasticsearch dot conf and I'll copy this and I'll tell what what are the changes to be made here Manu. So first we don't have this so I'll comment this out because for Elasticsearch I'm not using the certificate and SSL also I will turn it off and the username and password are the same here uh, I'll add in the Elasticsearch address so it is HTTP 192.168.64.1 21 and port is 9200 and so this one we need to change it is in the directory of logstash so it's slash etc slash logstash slash search and this is Vazoo dot okay and this is the same and here the address will be changed Vazoo indexer address it is https 192.168.64.22 and now let me go ahead and save this file once this is done now I'll stop log stash system CTL stop log stash and I'll do a test run on the log stash using this command we have an error ok so maybe I have made its mistake in the configuration file it's yeah. so in elasticsearch host I gave the wrong address it's http yeah. let me save this and let me again run the test command error in the configuration file itself let me just check it again uh, I'll do one thing I'll remove this HTTPS and I'll see and let me just check if this is yeah, this is working Let me remove HTTPS and I try and I try it once.
there are no errors right now so i'll go ahead and stop this so now let's start log stash again i hope it works now so we have started the log stash let me clear system ctl status of log stash let me go ahead and pull the log for log stash it's in slash var slash log slash log stash slash log stash plain dot log so the pipeline is running now let's go to the elastic search machine let me refresh this let me refresh and check again maybe the new logs came in now so yes we can see the logs have come in so sometimes it uh, if the logs are not generated you can't see the index pattern so keep refreshing till the new logs are generated or maybe change from sudo user to normal user and sudo user to normal user that will generate few logs and i'll create the index pattern now and if we go and see in the discover section here we have the elast alert log from the elastic uh, sorry uh, here we have the wazoo alerts from the wazoo alert machine in the elastic search so this is how we can do if you have any more questions feel free to drop a comment or i'll leave the mail, uh, mail id in the description you can mail me also if i'm if i'm checking the mail i'll try to reply and i'll post this document in the medium and i'll post the link in the description as well you can check the description for all the links thank you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe